Hi everyone, I just wanted to take a second to answer the question that I've been receiving the most on this channel and uh, that is what kind of paint am I using? Uh, what, where's my color coming from? Um, so I can get to that now. It's not a super simple question. The easy answer is acrylic. Uh, there's multiple brands that I use but then I also use other mediums besides acrylic as well. So we'll just take a moment and I'll show you some of the stuff that I'm using. The paints that I frequently use the most would be the Golden High Flow Acrylics. Uh, they have a really wide range of colors and they are super pigmented. Um, they hold like the same amount of pigment as their normal paints, but then they're already thinned down to the proper consistency. And when I'm using the Golden High Flow Acrylics, I find that Oxgall doesn't really help as a dispersant too much. Uh, maybe it's not strong enough. So I end up using the Golden Medium Airbrush Medium. Um, it's an acrylic medium. It's kind of, it's basically like the high flow acrylic minus pigment. So it's just a clear. Um, and that works great as a dispersant when using the Golden High Flow Acrylic colors. So another type of liquid acrylic that I like to use is an actual airbrush color. Um, it comes from Createx. So this paint doesn't really come at the proper consistency and you're gonna have to uh, dilute it a little bit with a few drops of water, um, maybe even a dispersant. And since you're diluting it, the colors won't be as vibrant as the Goldens, but they still work great and they uh, are a lot more affordable. The Goldens can be a little pricey, but they're definitely worth it since they have that high vibrancy content. But if you're a student or if you're just wanting to learn, the Createx can be plenty without being too much of a hit on your budget. Another good liquid acrylic paint is the Jacquard Marbling Color. This is another paint that comes at the proper consistency. This was actually formulated specifically for marbling. So moving down the line in the acrylics, I also like to use the M. Graham acrylic. Uh, it comes in a tube, so it's definitely going to have to be thinned down. I generally do like a 1 to 3 ratio with water, but if it's not spreading the way you want, a few drops of a dispersant will really help. So another acrylic paint that I like to use is the Winsor Newton Galleria Flow Formula Acrylic. They work really well on the water, but you also have to water them down just like with the M. Grams, like a 1 to 3 with water. But always, you know, when, you, when you're having to mix and dilute your own colors, uh, test them out and uh, work with it. You know, add a little, dump it out, try again with a little less. But generally, 1 to 3 ratio uh, will get it to work. So here's another airbrush color. It's acrylic water-based. It's made for um, airbrushing on cars. So it's called Auto Air Colors. Um, it's actually an automotive paint, but I tried it out one time and it worked. So I mentioned earlier that Golden has the uh, airbrush medium that acts as a good dispersant. It's a nice clear color. Um, but I also have Kodak Professional Photo Flow, and this is a really good dispersant. Um, and you can always add this to your colors to help them spread. If I'm using it as a clear, I'll add some water to it to kind of dull down how much it's going to spread because otherwise it does spread quite a lot. It can usually turn, uh, this in a little bit of water can turn almost any paint into an active marbling color. So this is a pure artist pigment and I can mix this with water and a bit of oxgall and create my own colors to work for marbling. I've used Procyon MX dye a few times, mixing it with water and a little bit of oxgall. These tend to come out a lot softer uh, in definition instead of hard bold lines, you end up with softer lines. Sometimes I don't even want to paint, I end up using ink. I've got a pretty big collection of inks ranging from Speedball to Higgins to some Yasutomo Sumi ink, but it does tend to print a lot lighter in saturation than, than say an acrylic paint would. I've used Speedball screen print ink to create marbling colors as well. Just add a little bit of water to thin it down and it's good to go. A lot of people assume right off the bat that I'm always using oil, although all the videos so far have been with acrylic. I do have a collection of Grombacher oil paint and with those I tend to dilute and disperse those with odorless mineral spirit or artist white spirit. The oil paint ends up creating a completely different look every time I've tried it. It's definitely distinct, but it's uh, not something I use very often. 
From time to time I end up marbling a, an odd substance like a glass or metal and when I'm doing that I'll use the one-shot lettering enamel. Now these cans have gotten a little weathered. I left them outside because this paint I marble outside. It's actually the only time I tend to marble outside is if I'm using something like this like enamel or sometimes the oil paint. Using acrylic I always tend to marble inside because then I don't have interference from wind and who knows what else. So those are all the paints that I use when I'm marbling. I don't use them all at once, I usually use only one at a time. Sometimes they don't interact well with each other from brand to brand, and especially medium to medium. Hopefully that answered your questions. Um, check out more of my videos if you want to learn more about marbling or you just want to check out some interesting videos. You can also check me out elsewhere, uh, Facebook and Instagram as Danny Ebru, uh, just like here on YouTube. Uh, like and subscribe and all that YouTube type of stuff. And check out my website as well, dannyebrew.com.